You really won't help me get out of here? Well, you're still recovering? They not only fire me, they take away my nursing license. I feel so much better, though, and if I was in a wheelchair, I'm sure you'd feel fine. JR. This is Erica. And the next sound you will hear will be me disconnecting this call. Don't hang up. This is something you want to hear. Not if it's about your son, Josh. This has to do with your wife. Start talking. You can't threaten me. I'm calling security. Believe me, my friend here isn't the threat his father is. The last woman that helped him ended up dead. You want to be next? You want to be the next one? We can protect you. We can keep you safe out of prison if you just tell us what you know. Hey, why are you doing this? Why are you protecting him? Do you think he has any loyalty to anyone but himself? No, when he's done with you, we'll cut your throat. Well, what we're doing here is we're offering you a way out of this, so don't be a fool, Miss Johnson. You should take it. I'm taking her in. No, it's true. There's help from me and one of the attending physicians. Mr. Cambius convinced the world he was dead. Now, ow, 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 ow. And we were having such a lovely evening. If you wave that gun in my face, I'll what? I'll back down, cry for mercy, throw up my hands and quit? The threat of a bullet to one's brain usually encourages compliance. I'm not shaking, Alexander. No tears. I'm not about to fall apart. My son would be so proud of his beautiful, brave wife. If you're gonna kill me, I'm going down fighting. Stop talking for two seconds and listen to what I have to tell you. Yeah, I've heard it too many times, Erica. Babe's toxic, she ruined your son's life. Well, choke on this. Babe's dead. We don't have to have this conversation anymore. You trust me, JR, there is a reason for this conversation. And this is not an attack on Babe, this... Hello? Erica? Hello? She hang up? I think the call dropped. What'd she want? I don't know. She wanted to tell me something about Babe. I'll call her back. Find out. I was trying to help a grieving family. You're trying to stick it to Babe. Babe's family deserves to know the truth. You're going to stand there? and actually pretend that you care about the Chandlers? That you care about JR? No, you're just ticked that Kendall's in danger and Babe is safe. That's what this is about. Well, of course I'm worried about Kendall. Well, so am I. But if you go around telling people that Babe is still alive, she could be attacked all over again, Erica. Look, it seems to me that Babe is completely safe. All tucked in at the casino, under your watchful eye, under the watchful eye of a thousand security guards, while Kendall is out there, God knows where, with a big target on her back. So this is about Kendall? Well, of course it is for me. But what you're doing, Josh, hiding Babe from her family, Josh, that is just wrong. And when she finds out, she just might end up hating you. And, and you expect me to believe that you have a problem with that? 
I have a big problem with that. I don't want to see you hurt. Well, I'm not trying to win a popularity contest, Erica. I am trying to save Babe's life. Yeah, well, this is not the way. Erica, when you thought Babe was dead and I was grieving, you begged me to stay in Pine Valley. You told me my brand new family would help me through this, that, that you would support me. You told me that I could depend on you. But of course you can. Well, this is not over. Babe's life is still up in the air. So, here I am. Cashing in on the offer. If it's still there. Will you help me save Babe's life? I can't let you leave, Mrs. Schindler. Dr. Madden won't even authorize you getting out of bed. It's not like I'm trying to bust out permanently. I just need to get out of this room, look out a window, get some fresh air or something. It's really starting to get claustrophobic in here, please. Cardiology is on the basement level. None of the rooms have windows. Dr. Conway to ICU. Dr. Conway to ICU. Dr. Conway gets paid like 10 times a day. She's a pretty prominent cardiologist. Replace Dr. Hayward, actually. She's in high demand. I know it's late, but I thought you might like a little snack. Ta-da. Oh, looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, this hospital food is so much nicer than any of the hospital food I remember. The hospital changed food service companies. Some improvement, isn't it? I'll say. I'm so sick and tired of Erica telling me that my wife was a mess. Like, if she wants to talk to us, she can talk to my voicemail. What I want to find out is what Zach's father did with Kendall. Well, these are the real estate transactions from around the time Cambia supposedly died, and so far, nothing is right. Hey, did you uh, track down Kendall's cell phone? Yeah. Unfortunately, she wasn't on the other end of it. Cambia threw it out of a car window. You should have seen who found it. Well, I guess we're no closer than where we were before. Where, where's Aiden? He's checking out some little casita that Zach rented with Maria Santos back in the day. What did you come up with? You tell me. You're simply wasting your energy fighting me, Kendall. I never lose. You already have. <laughs> Funny. I feel victorious. You are so obsessed with power and control, you're too blind to see that you've already lost both. So I'm only imagining holding you at gunpoint? You may kill me, but you'll never control me. I owe that much to Zack and more. He beat you when he was 18. He escaped your control when he made a new life for himself. Yes. A life with you, which is about to end. You can't stand it. You cannot stand the fact that you may not be God. That's why you killed all of my friends to torture my husband. You're trying to make Zach pay for being his own man. But you will never, ever break him. And you will never break me. I offered Alex Jr. the world. I only wanted the best for my son. He is the best. Zack is an amazing man, but you are too blind to see that. He is strong and, and reassuring and selfless and caring all the things that you are not. And all of your attempts to mold your son into your own image, to control his every thought, every move, every breath. You know what that got you? Nothing. He will never, ever be like you. Talking. Now I saw Alex's heart monitor go flat. I saw the doctor rush in there and try to revive him. It was all staged. It's been established. How? Mr. Cambius was devastated his son raped that poor girl. Couldn't bear the disgrace it brought to his family name. He just wanted to disappear. So he asked if the attending physician and I could help make that happen. And I'm assuming his request had a few zeros on the end of it. An envelope of cash is delivered to me annually. When and by whom? 
I've never seen the delivery person. The cash is left in an old abandoned warehouse. Number two, Sunset Avenue, I know. Yes, how did you know? We were just there. When is the next delivery? Not for another six months. All right, what about Alex? Has he ever contacted you personally? No, never. What about the doctor who helped you do this? Where is he? Dr. Najimi passed away four months ago. Does he have any family? He was a widower, no children. Of course. Can I go now? I've told no. you everything. It's not enough. You obviously think the world of my son is really quite moving. I'll be sure to let Alex Jr. know how much his wife loved him. Dr. Conway to ICU. Dr. Conway to ICU. The mango's super sweet. Glad you like it. The more you eat, the stronger you'll get. And the sooner I can get out of here, You know, you were right about me needing my rest. Suddenly, I'm exhausted. It's to be expected. Maybe I should get some sleep. Good idea. Sweet dreams. Scroll down a little bit. You see there, the property was purchased the same week that Zach's dad supposedly died. And a building permit was authorized a month later. Boulder City? It's about 25 miles outside of Vegas. Does it say who bought it? Yeah, the property purchase and the building permit are under the same name. And it's a corporation, Novus Order, or Ortus? What is that? What is that? Is, it, is that Latin? Yeah, it is. It stands for New Birth. I'm sure Alex will take great comfort in knowing how much you adored him, Kendall. You said that you'd leave Zach alone. That, that's the only reason that I agreed to come here with you. And I find it very charming that you actually believe me, especially knowing how difficult it is for you to take anyone at their word. You met me once at a press conference in Pine Valley. So, so that, that makes you an expert? <laughs> I know more about you than you think, Kendall. You're a feisty, headstrong woman. When you love, you throw your entire body and soul into it. You're passionate, intense, you have a wickedly dry sense of humor, and above all else, you're sexy. No wonder you've had so many admirers. My grandson, my two sons, and let's not forget, Ryan. I'm not having this conversation with you. Oh, did I strike a nerve? Sorry. Now, perhaps you should have listened to your mother. Erica is right to want you to choose, Ryan. For a minute there, thought you would. How do you know all of this? I was there. That night, on the roof of your company building, a few months back. Maybe this will refresh your memory. You're noble, Ryan. Honorable, true, I should devote myself to you. You're the one who deserves this. Ring any bells? You had Fusion under surveillance way back then? <laughs> Not just Fusion. I've kept a watchful eye over all of Pine Valley. But I've focused mainly on you. I wanted to know the ins and outs of the woman my son loves so deeply. What are you not telling me? I swear on my life, I've told you everything I know. Please, I have to get back to work. Oh, no, your shift just ended. That permit, line. here's a card. I want you to call the number that's on there and do yourself a favor and don't go home. Benjamin Holt? He's an attorney. He'll give you some cash and he'll give you a safe place to stay. I really can't go back to my house? I wouldn't risk it. Holt will make sure that you're safe and that Alex's men can't get to you. Do it. I promise you'll be safe. He's covered every track. We'll find her, Zach. We'll find her, and your father will be punished. I have no choice but to punish you, son. You've made a grave mistake. 
I'll summon you when I decide what the punishment will be. Sam, lost you there for a second. I'm gonna call some of my business associates. All right, let's go. No. They don't really like talking to strangers, so, um... I'll be back. You gave Ryan such a hard time when he took in that house guest. Annie, is it? I mean, I don't blame you one bit for being furious at Ryan. Of course, you wouldn't want that woman raising your son. And I applaud your impulse in keeping Ryan away from his daughter as well. Too bad he found out anyway. Don't look so ashamed. I understand. I kept the truth about a child from someone once myself. So you see, we have plenty in common. I've grown to admire you very much, Kendall. So much so, I think, I actually will let you live. On one condition. It took a while, but I'm really trying to be a part of this family. I want to be closer to you and my sisters. I am so grateful to hear that. That means the world to me. But then, Josh, how can you protect Babe at your sister's expense? You're going to make me say it, aren't you? OK. Um, I love Kendall. I don't know how the hell it happened, because most of the time, she's a major pain in the ass. But she's had my back more times than I can count, and I guess that's what siblings are all about, right? So I, I would never do anything to put her at risk. Well, that is just so wonderful to hear. Now I just want Kendall to be able to hear those words from your mouth. Yeah, but she's safer out of Pine Valley than she is in it. And her husband is protecting her. Zach is the reason that all these women are dying. Yeah, but Jackson is on his way to help. Josh, if you really feel this way about Kendall, then why aren't you out there with Jack? I mean, why are you focusing 100% only on Babe? Because Babe almost died, Erica. She needs round-the-clock medical attention. And you are the only one who can give it to her? Well, Jeff and Joe have their patients at the hospital that need them. And we can't tell anyone else that Babe is still alive. It's too much of a risk. Look, this was Zach's idea, not mine. He came up with a way to save Babe and Kendall, and I jumped at the chance. I know you don't like Babe. But I love her. And please don't make me choose. Josh? Oh, my God. Are you okay? I thought I would never see you again. What brought you back to Pine Valley? Damn it, I really thought that we were on to something. Yeah, well, unless Alex decided to open up his own private yeah. yoga spot, we're back to square one, which means we keep looking. We gotta find this guy, Dad. I can't wait to get my hands around this maniac's throat. Hey, I'm not going to let you get payback for Babe's murder by committing one of your own. Not just Babe's, James. He killed Mom. Yeah. And I want him to pay just as much as everybody else, but not at your expense. Yeah, but we have to do something. We have to do something for Mom, for my wife. I can't even say that word anymore, my wife. Not the way I treated her. JR, you got to stop doing this to yourself. If I could just have one more chance. I could just get Babe back.
Dr. Conway to ICU. Dr. Conway to ICU. the same way I would wait when I was a little kid. It's actually a wonderful proposition for you. You don't lose. Then say it. Just tell me what I have to do to live. No, no, not just live. If you do as I ask, I'll keep my word and stay away from Alex Jr. What do I have to do? Divorce him. Leave your sack and return to the man with whom you truly belong, the man who loves you more than anyone ever has. Go back to Ryan. I told you not to come here. It's all been building to this, isn't it? big showdown. That's why he lured you back to Vegas. That's why you're back here in the warehouse. You're waiting for a face to face with your old man, aren't you? Just go. I'm not going anywhere, Zach. I'm staying here whether you want me to or you don't. My father's going to call on me and I'm going to deal with him myself. I can help you, Zach. Alex likes me. He left me his fortune. Hey, he doesn't like you. He sent you a note. You let him down. This has nothing to do with you. This is between me and my father, not you. And I will save Kendall. I will take care of her. Now go. You want me back with Ryan? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds ridiculous. I love Zach. <laughs> Must have been a difficult decision choosing Alex over Ryan. It still causes you great pain, doesn't it? I chose Zach because I belong with Zach. I want to be with him. Yeah, that's the party line. But it's just the two of us now. You don't have to hide your true feelings from me. I've watched you with Ryan many times. We, we share a son. That's why we're together so much. You still love Ryan. Don't feel guilty about it. Ryan is a remarkable young man. I've been a fan since the day I met him when he stopped and helped me on the side of the road right here outside of town in Vegas. In the few short days that I knew him, he's done more for me than either of my children ever has. That's why I left him my inheritance. He's a very special young man. And if you took him back, Kendall, he'd be the happiest man on earth. Ryan's moved on. We both have. And Ryan still loves you. He wants you. I mean, things haven't always been easy for you two. That's partially why you turned to my son, but you've both grown up. You have a beautiful child together. Ryan deserves you. Alex doesn't. And you deserve Ryan. No, no. Zach and I are in love. <laughs> my son doesn't know how to love. You, you're wrong. You don't know him at all. Forget Zach. Be honest with yourself. If not now, when? Staring at the end of your life? Admit it. You never stopped loving Ryan. Well, once I got out of town, cleared my head about Babe, realized Kendall was still in danger. It didn't feel right being away, so here I am. What? Did, did you hear from Uncle Jack? Is there news about Kendall? No. No, as, as far as we know, Kendall is, is safe with Zach. Well, then what was that look? Well, Josh knows how concerned I am about Kendall. And then Josh was trying to reassure me, and, and so, I don't know, I guess that look was just to see if, if I'd come around. And I have. Thank you. 
Thank you. Keep an eye on her. I had to keep going. You watch out for both of them, right? Just trust her. Why didn't I just fight to save our marriage? It doesn't do any good to beat yourself up now. Yeah, but I was always the guy to find out last. I'm always the guy to, to do something stupid and vicious to people, and then bam, they're gone. And I realized what a fool I was. Babe was always about saving our marriage. Why couldn't I just go with that? Do not put this all on yourself. You both made mistakes. Yeah, but I was always about hers, never about mine. She turned to Josh because she said I shut down. And she was right. Yeah, and Josh completely took advantage of it. Yeah, but if I was the husband that she needed, he would have never had the opportunity to. You're going to kill yourself with what ifs. I know. I spent a lot of time where you are right now. After your mother disappeared, I told myself over and over and over again if I'd only had a second chance. But, you know, the fact is, I got my second chance, and I still managed to mess things up. I wouldn't mess up. You don't know that. Love? Love like that stirs up everything in a person, both good and bad. But I wouldn't hurt her again. If I had that chance again, I would put all of my faith in Babe. I would fight for our marriage. I would fight for us. I would fight for our family. If I, if I just... If I could just hold my wife one more time. Dr. Conway to ICU, Dr. Conway to ICU. Trust Uncle Jack and Zach to keep Kendall safe. Oh, Bianca, please don't do this. Please don't take their side. Look, I know that you said that you don't want to be anything like me. But can you see how difficult this is for me? I mean, they just expect me to, to, to sit on my hands while everybody else is out there trying to keep my daughter safe. Mom, I know what I said before was hurtful. I was angry. I, I don't understand this thing between you and Jeff, but you're my mother. I love you. And I never want you to feel like you're alone. You're not. That's why I'm here. You have me, you have Myrtle, you have Sean, Lily, and now Josh is back in town. That is huge. I never thought we would see him here again. I, th I thought that he would spend the rest of his life alone, missing Babe. Babe, are you okay? What are you doing? What are you doing? Josh. Josh, where am I? Come on. Let me help you up. Oh. Oh, what, did you decide the view was better from the floor? Where did you, where did you bring me this? This isn't a hospital where I... Don't talk, all right? You just need to get some rest. Why don't you tell me? I'm not leaving, sir. I'm not letting you do this alone. I'm not. Thank you. 
best birthday present your mom ever got. And I love how it plays our favorite song. Let's go to Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock. Let's go to Red Rock and play all day. Oh. What's it mean, Zach? What's the song? These tears can only mean one thing. I'm right. You still do love Ryan. No, stop saying that. I love Zach. I'm married to Zach. You can't throw away your future because you feel some debt towards Alex. I don't. I don't. I belong with Zach. You don't have to keep up the pretense with me. <laughs> I love him. Not the way you love Ryan. Maybe you haven't allowed yourself to imagine this. Maybe you don't want to admit Ryan is the man for you because you've told yourself for so long that it's over. But why do you think you try to keep Ryan's daughter away from him? Was it just to protect your son? Yes, yes, that's all it was. Come on, Kendall. Let's be honest. You didn't want to share Ryan because you can't bear the thought of him having that sort of connection with any woman but you. You can't bear it because you want him for yourself, because you love him. <laughs> Would you stop? Stop it. It's all right. You can say it out loud. You love Ryan. You love Ryan. I already know. Say it, Kendall. Your heart belongs to Ryan. All right. All right. I love Ryan. I never stopped loving him, OK? Is that what you want? Is that what you want to hear? Take that love and use it to save your life. Leave my son and make Ryan yours. I can't just leave Zach for, for you uh, to destroy him. If you go back to Ryan, I leave Alex Jr. alone. I never hurt him again. I swear it. The decision is yours, Kendall. Save my son's life and spare your own by returning to the man you truly love. Or... Okay. What was that? I'll do it. I'll end things with Zach. It really is for the best. Where are you going? To bring the car around so you can go. Thank you. Oh, but first. I have something I want to show you. You guys are seeing it all. Come through. Please watch your stuff. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Why won't you tell me where... Babe, you're safe. You'll always be safe with me. Mom, why don't you go home to your room and try to get some sleep? I can't sleep. I won't be able to sleep until Kendall is home, safe and sound, till I can see her, until I can hold her. The desert house didn't pan out. Family lives here now, no connection to Camus. Well, we're batting a 1,000 tonight. Any word from Zach or Ryan? No. They've got their cell phones turned off. Well, we should have heard something by now. I agree. I don't like this. What's the significance of the bear? Zach, why would he leave it? He wants me to meet him. Where?
nothing quite like the fragrance of gardenias, is there? Kudos on your performance back there at the house. I didn't buy it for a minute, but you really gave it your all. You're a sick bastard. You know, Kendall, I told you I know more about you than you know. You do or say anything to get away from me. Unfortunately for you, there is no escape. Tie this around your neck. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children. On the next All My Children. Let me bring back Amelia. Let me try. Alex is sticking it to Zach the way it'll do the most damage. He's making him watch Kendall die. 